for us to find the sum of the given series, we will do this by using one of the known power series for one of the functions below. Notice how the given series has n factorial in the denominator, and so does the power series for e to the x, which means we will write the given series in the form of the power series for e to the x. Looking at the numerator of the power series for e to the x, we have x raised to the power of n, and for the given series, we will ignore negative one raised to the power of n for a moment and focus on nine raised to the power of n minus two. We want to write nine raised to the power of n minus two in the form of x raised to the power of n. To do this, we will use the exponent rule a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m plus n. Using this exponent rule, we can write nine raised to the power of n minus two as nine raised to the power of n times nine raised to the power of negative two, which will be our first step. The given series is equal to the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one raised to the power of n and then times nine raised to the power of n times nine raised to the power of negative two all over n factorial. Again, notice how this product does give us nine raised to the power of n minus two. From here, nine raised to the power of negative two is not affected by n, which means we can factor this out and write this as nine raised to the power of negative two times the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative one raised to the power of n times nine raised to the power of n all over n factorial. And now notice how the power on negative one and the power on nine are both n, which means we can now combine these by multiplying the two bases. Negative one raised to the power of n times nine raised to the power of n is equal to negative nine raised to the power of n, which gives us nine raised to the power of negative two times the sum from n equals zero to infinity of negative nine raised to the power of n all over n factorial. And now if we compare this series to the power series for e to the x, it matches perfectly where x is equal to negative nine, which means this series is equal to e raised to the power of negative nine, and therefore this product gives us the sum of the given series, which is nine raised to the power of negative two times e raised to the power of negative nine. Let's rewrite this using positive exponents. This is equal to one over nine squared e to the ninth, or if we want one over 81 e to the ninth. But let's also get a decimal approximation for this value. To do this, we will use a calculator. We enter one divided by, open parenthesis, 81, second natural log brings up e raised to the power of nine, right arrow, close parenthesis, and enter. Notice how this is giving us scientific notation. Let's round this to 1.5236 times 10 to the power of negative six. While this is a decimal approximation, it is always best to give the exact value whenever possible. I hope you found this helpful.